Hello guys, so today let's talk about soft gamin summer style laws. If you're new to my channel, I'm gonna leave the link on my kitty playlist down below. You know that you're a soft gamin if you are quite smallish looking, have soft flesh, slightly angular, slightly wide, and you can have some angularity maybe on your shoulders or on your jawline, your chin area. Normally soft gamins are quite youthful looking, doll-like looking. This is normally the most petite type. So the best thing for them would be something compact, trim and rounded. Dresses. Short dresses are amazing on them. Tulip shape, pencil skirt, all that looks great on them. Waist emphasis is essential. It will save so many outfits for you. If we talk about mini dress, 60s straight dress, if narrow, might look nice, but still they look a bit better with waist emphasis. If we talk about mid-length dresses, then tulip skirt or mermaid-shaped skirts would look great. A-line skirts also can look quite cute. Long skirts are best when they're narrow. It's a bit hard for soft gamins to pull off long vertical line, meaning same color from top to the bottom, or pull off some very, very long pieces, long dresses and long skirts. We're not talking about red carpet or prom dresses, it's a different subject. We're only talking about casual style for summer. So if they are wearing Disney Princess dress for summer, that might look nice, but still it's a bit better if it's not very, very long, but slightly shorter, so just to show their ankles. Super buffant skirt. I'm not sure if it's elegant enough for everyday casual look. So if you're in doubt, go for narrower skirt. And drapes normally are great for you, but not huge drapes. Small drapes would be much better. Also, pleats would be nice, something smallish and something compact would be best. If the skirt of a dress is slightly rounded around the butt area and then it goes narrower to the knees or longer, that would be best thing for them. You can even go for a denim skirt or denim dress if it has its shape, because it's great that the fabric itself is quite stiff. Normally, soft gamins look better with that kind of fabric as opposed to something extremely soft and drapes easily around them because they still have a frame of the gamine which is quite angular and slightly sharp. If your skirt is still long, go for high heels or slight platforms, maybe not very chunky ones, go for something narrower. Also high collar is better for them just because they are quite petite, so for them sometimes when it's low collar can drag them down a little bit, especially if the dress is very long. If the dress is short, then that long neckline is not gonna hurt too much, it can look very cute, but if the dress is long, then a higher collar would look better just because it will even out their proportions. The weight of an outfit will be spread evenly along their body. Another reason why higher collars work better for them is these girls look quite youthful. Sometimes they look like little girls. So when they're wearing a very long dress, it looks like they're wearing their mom's dress. So when the neckline is quite high and it's very fitted around their neck, that looks like, no, that was made specifically for her. She wanted to go for that long dress and that fits her. It looks more trim, more tidy for them. What helps a lot is tiny ruffles or contrasted trim, especially closer to the face. Contrasted trim around the collar, around the sleeves. Lantern sleeves would look great. Sharp sleeves also would be a little bit better for them rather than drop shoulder ones. Drop shoulder normally looks very untidy on them. If we talk about high-waisted dresses, definitely yes. This is the type that can actually pull them off. Maybe not very flowy and huge and wide, but if it's narrower and has smaller drapes, it will look very cute on them. If we talk about low-waisted dresses, better if their length is around the knee or above and not lower, especially if it's a long dress with elongated torso and especially if they're wearing flat shoes. Elongated torso dresses are normally exaggerating the vertical line of an outfit and these girls are like eight shape very often. They are plump and very often they have curves, they have softness, so we need to accommodate that softness, we need to go around it and not to cut it. If we cut it, then it will look separate from them and too vertical for them. We need to break that vertical line. Shirt dresses can look very cute if they figure out how to freshen the look with something else. Maybe a little bright scarf, like red color or something, or contrasted colored belt. That will look great for them. Wrap dresses look amazing on them if they look compact and don't have very big drapes. If we talk about top and the skirt, same thing as about dresses. If the skirt or a blouse here is quite voluptuous, waist emphasis is essential, higher waisted skirts would look amazing. If the skirt is buffant, they can look quite cute on them. Again, if it's not very low to the bottom to the floor, but showing the ankles, so slightly 
higher, especially for everyday casual style. So just in general, eight shaped silhouettes look great on them. If she has cropped top, higher waisted skirt, and narrow skirt or higher waisted skirt and slightly bouffant that can look quite cute too if the skirt is too bouffant and it's too high waisted you will look like you are pregnant you will look like you don't have waist or you have very big belly so if you want to go for that fine but then why would you need it so if you go for high waisted skirt better choose something narrower maybe tulip skirt or slightly rounded trumpet skirt or a-line skirt but that would be narrow and soft looking if you are choosing tops the best choices for you would be not long tops. Of course, crop tops would always look better because sometimes you might not want to tuck it into your pants or shorts, then you will wear it just like that. So the best length of the top for you would be the longest probably, where you have those first hip bones here and preferably not lower. So if you have this kind of short top or shorter, then you don't have to tuck it in. It will create beautiful color block or shape block. Shape blocking also works amazing for soft chemines. We need to cut their outfit. They look much more vivid and outfit looks just for them if it's cut like that around the waist. When you are choosing men's style shirt, that would be great if you chose something shorter. If you still have this kind of shirt, and it's oversized and it's quite long then best thing is just tuck it in and as far as it's oversized then it would be better if you choose more trim pants or skirt on the bottom if you're choosing pants or jeans basically anything could work except for something very slouchy and huge and squarish especially with low waist this is a huge no-no for you it will look very untidy and not for you and very heavy for you very much pulling you to the ground and it might give you some stocky appearance and make you look squarish so best thing in this case for you would be ankle length pants that would be quite slim not very sleek just to avoid that sausage leg kind of feeling because sometimes they can have quite plump legs so for you best thing would be just slim pants not very very skinny not like leggings leggings are also fine it's just more for sports for yoga but it's just not elegant for anyone from my viewpoint if pants have slightly rounded butt and narrowed to the bottom, like mom jeans, for example, or just regular pants with pleats. That would look stunning on them. Uh, showing their ankles just in general helps them a lot to lighten their silhouette. If they go for wider pants, that is slightly harder for them to pull off. In this case, waist emphasis here. And then your top should be sleek. And then on the bottom, better not to go for chunky platforms because that can give you that 90s teenager kind of a vibe and we don't want that if we want to go for something more elegant something more suitable for your particular body just go for something more delicate on the bottom maybe with some wedge platforms or something but just choose something narrower this is how you can pull off wider pants i am also not tall so I don't like huge pants on myself because it drags me down. But lately, oversized clothes is mostly on trend. And it's not that I'm going after trend, but I just bought a couple of jeans that are wider. One of them I roll still, but I want to cut them around my ankle area. And other ones that are wide, I trimmed them myself. I just cut them and I saw them with my hands. I cut that much and I cut specifically where the thinnest part of my ankle is. First of all, as far as my legs are not very elongated, every pants that I buy, they're slightly longer and when I wear them the bottom of the pants normally lies down on my shoes and it creates that unwanted drapes and this drapes on my pants create such an untidy feeling and I love when my pants just sit straight sometimes I even forget to iron them like I did with these but still when I wear them for some time with the heat of my body it just straightens itself and my silhouette is immediately much more tidy and much more straight so I recommend for all the soft gamines this kind of configuration if you want to go for oversized pants or even something oversized on top. If you're going for everything oversized on top and the bottom, first thing for you would be cropped top for sure, whether you tuck it in or you crop it or you buy it cropped. Whether one thing cropped or both things cropped. Second thing you can do is crop your pants around your ankle area. That already will create correct proportions for your particular body. Next thing is, of course, waist emphasis. And for example, you're wearing a blouse that has big sleeves. Best if sleeves are narrow at the wrists. Even if you have buffon sleeve, if you have relaxed sleeve, you have draped sleeve, 
best if it goes back to slim shape like that. It's very important for soft canines. Not to go for bad sleeves, not to go for draped sleeves that just finish like your wings, but just go for something more precise, even if in between it is slightly puffy. And actually, slight puffiness looks great on them. Lantern sleeves, for example, it looks great. But just if these parts of their body, like wrist, for example, or elbow, or shoulder, or waist, or knees, or ankles, there it should be precise and trim and narrow, preferably. This is how you create your best silhouette. Because soft gamins often feel like they're wide, they're too chubby looking, they're too chunky looking, they're too big, they're too short, they're too swollen. So all those problems will go if your outfit will always finish with preciseness. So if we talk about pants, cigarette pants, carrot pants would look amazing, straight pants would look great, anything shortened would look great, even narrow flared jeans would look amazing if you wear them with some platform shoes or some higher heels a little bit, so they would go down there to the bottom, and especially if they have normal waist or slightly high-waisted and cropped top. That will create such a cute silhouette for you. It will elongate you, but at the same time, you will have your own proportions, your own cuteness. You will not look like somebody else. What doesn't look good on them, for sure, is everything oversized, everything relaxed, everything huge, everything dirty looking and muddy looking. That boho style in its initial sense, that something is very relaxed, flowing and very long. They get lost in that. We have two famous twins that are soft gamins, is Ashley Olsen and Mary-Kate Olsen, and they love to have everything oversized and they actually always are dressed like models as if they're like 5'11", but they're cute and they're small. But at the same time, I never look at them as if they just don't know about it. I'm sure they're so much aware and it's more like a statement for them rather than just lack of vision of proportions. Of course they know, they just love it. They work in fashion. They love creating that weird, strange shapes for them. But we're talking more about being aware of how you look of course, they know that they attract a lot of attention, but the point here is we have to be aware about what's happening if we're wearing this or that shape. Some shapes are just looking very harmonizing on us, so people will just look at us and think, wow, how beautiful this lady is, but they won't necessarily notice what you're wearing. And that is the best thing about this technology. We're not talking about any trends right now. We're not talking about any specific patterns or business casual or even classic things. You can choose basically whatever you want. Everything here describes the things. Of course, there are certain things that I would not recommend because they would look dowdy on everyone from my viewpoint including soft gamins, but maybe by description, it will actually fit you very much. For example, this by description, that would fit soft gamins, but I just think it looks so tacky and cheap, so I would never recommend it. So that is another huge subject. Style do's, style don'ts for our time, basically. So, but it requires a separate video. Slightly geometric pattern, slightly rounded pattern, would look amazing on them. Different kinds of polka dots, contrasted flowers, florals, not watercolored florals. Those will just make you look so tired and so chubby. Better choose something contrasted and more precise if you go for florals and things like that. Stripey top, of course, it would look great on everyone. Maybe not super chunky stripes, but even that depends on what you're wearing. I've seen cases where it looked just very charming on soft gamins because it's not stripey anymore, it kind of looks like color blocks already. If they go for something very severe, very geometric, also that can kill their natural eight shape, we don't need to kill that, we need to go around this, so we need that softness, that cuteness, that roundness. If they go for something extremely sleek that also doesn't look quite good on them because it accentuates their angularity and then normally they don't like it. Sneakers and dress can look cute, sneakers are better when they're delicate, narrow and have some platforms and the dress preferably would be on a shorter side to show their ankles and preferably that would be slightly narrow with waist emphasis. That can look very cute on them. They should be careful with belly flats because they are normally slightly chubby looking sometimes 
and they can have some extra flesh on their slightly wide bones and slightly short bones. Sometimes they feel like their legs are too short and too wide, so they always want to elongate them a little bit, make them look slightly slimmer or slightly longer. So belly flats plus dress that ends around the cuffs area, especially if the dress is quite wide, that can drag them to the ground slightly. But they still can go for belly flats, it just depends on what they're wearing on top. I recommend to wear something very trim, quite sleek, maybe a little bit puffy here, a little bit puffy around the hips too, but with precise waist, with precise shoulders, narrow in the overall silhouette and cropped pants, also narrowed. In this case, belly flats can look very, very elegant. Belly flats, of course, are better when they're stiff, not that soft ones, because these soft ones don't look elegant on any type. Platforms look cool on them, but it just depends on which platforms. Some platforms look way too chunky for majority of the body type. So for soft gamins it will just make their silhouette look heavy and make the legs look heavy. So what I recommend, just try different kinds of one and see which one looks better and more delicate on you. You know there are some platforms that go wider to the ground, slightly trapeze even. I don't recommend those. I recommend the ones that look slightly narrower, especially at the front. You can have chunkier heel actually. It will look quite cool on you. You can go also for different kinds of high heels. All of them would look great on you. And different kinds of sandals, of course. And wedge platforms. Also check for inspiration. Summer style Paris, for example, or French summer style. You can find loads of great examples of beautiful sandals that are very cute, very delicate, and choose something that would be exactly your skin color. That can save any outfit for you. So for soft gamins, it's specifically important to have heels that are not going straight, like 90 degree angle. We don't want that, especially for soft gamins. For any petite types, it's not going to look good. So choose heel that goes inwards slightly. You see, it goes inside here so that looks much cuter it's much better for smaller feet especially for soft gamins for girls who have a little bit more flesh who are slightly heavier but petite and trim and it will be much more comfortable for you to walk in those shoes because this is the center of the weight of your body with that kind of straight heel the weight of your body would be forward your walk will be not pretty but if you will be walking with this kind of shoes which is curved here the weight of your body will go straight to your heel but just in general if you want to go for everyday sandal something like beige sandals with not tall squarish heel that will save any outfit for you. Alright, that's it. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.